and now we're in Skagway with the most incredible view. You just may want to hang out on the balcony like I do right now, but we're not because we're gonna go on a helicopter tour with dog sledding. How exciting. The only thing that could possibly even get close to rivaling that is this view. Now we're entering the town of Skagway. It looks like something out of a movie and I'm pretty sure it's just a tiny little main street. Definitely a gold mining town. All right, before we go on our helicopter tour to the glacier with the dog sledding, we're going in the Skagway Brewery. And it looks awesome, it looks like an old saloon. I'm excited. I heard it's delicious and amazing craft beers. This may be a town of only a thousand people, but it's definitely the place to be. It is packed here. So I guess we came to the right spot. It even has beers to go and you can get growlers. If you've never seen a growler, they're giant jugs of beer. It's for those people who are in it to win it. All right, so Chris, what did you get to try? I got the Boomtown Brown. Boomtown Brown? It's <laughs> an interesting choice of name. Yep. Boomtown Brown. Boomtown Brown. You don't want that happening on your cruise. <laughs> now to get to the helicopter, we are walking to the actual helipad, right Chris? Going directly to a helicopter right now. Going straight to the helipad. Helipad, oh my goodness. This is your first time, Chris? First time to the helicopter. Also, the walk to the helipad is actually really cool. I feel like we're vagabonds going on the train tracks over here, crossing. Let's go ride, let's go ride the rails yeah. of Alaska. Let's just cross, cross the west. I think it's worth coming here early just because the incredible views, right, Chris? Look at this. I mean, like a hike up wow, how amazing. Get some photos. Just the helipad's amazing. We just learned that this is the ore dock because they actually put iron and other ore, get it? Not O-A-R, like an ore for a boat. And there's the Norwegian Encore in the background with that beautiful view. Wow, what an adventure. Just like, I mean, Chris walking through here just doesn't look real. It looks like we're in a movie set. Let me know in the comments. What do you think? Have you ever been to Alaska? What do you think so far watching these vlogs? Would you go? So they'll go through a safety inspection and more. Um, and give us information. But this is really neat. This is the Iditarod Trail. That's the famous dog races. How cool. Oh, here it comes. degrees uh, colder so I'm ready got glacier boots on I got this on oh my gosh, I'm so excited for those of you who don't know I love doggies it's a huge like Disney and dogs but yes the big thing is the glacier and that's gonna be really cool but let me know in the comments would you do dog sledding glacier we get to do both but if you had to pick one or the other oh, I'm so excited we get to do both here we go Time to go on the helicopter. We got pilot Chris. <laughs> Chris, you got a good spot.
We're going right now to see the dogs. How cool. Hey, we're even been slipping. Hello. Hi. Oh, hello. Where are you guys going from? Florida. Right on. From Orlando. All from Orlando. All of you. Nothing. Bit of a change up in Florida though, right? Yeah. Yeah, no, you don't have much views like that in Florida. It's so cool. Is this your first time in Alaska? It is. Oh, right on. Here, I'll introduce you guys to the team. Sure. Oh, we're going to meet the team. Chris, we're going to meet the team. Oh my goodness. Hi. Oh, he's the biggest dog in the yard. He's very scared. But this is his sister right here, He Man. So they run together. You can come up and pay. Oh, okay. Oh, hi. Yeah, yeah Pop Dog's just Right now, they're getting the dogs ready to go dog sledding with us. I'm so excited. And they're all barking because they all want to come on the run. They all want to come on the run. So fun. How oh, cool. Oh my goodness. Oh, you guys are so cute. Hi. 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 He left the group. He left. Oh, Miracle, we're friends. I know, he knows. We're, we're good friends. We're good friends. Me and Miracle. <laughs> they are so excited. Oh my goodness. How excited are you guys? Oh, you're so excited. So excited. Oh, here we go. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, how cool. Oh my goodness. As you can see, there's Chris in the back and Andrew. Oh, this is amazing. Look at that backdrop. Oh, they're going fast now, guys. Oh my goodness. Oh, they're, oh, they're going really fast. Wow, great job, guys. Oh. oh my, oh my goodness. Oh, oh, holy moly. Oh my goodness. It's called Paradise Valley. And as you can see from the bumps here, that's because we're going up and down some valleys. Up and down some valleys. How beautiful. Amazing. And then another avalanche is coming. Do the dogs sense it? No, but they will let you know when it happens. Whoa. They get just as excited as all of us for them. Oh my gosh. And that is the dog camp there. All the doggies waiting to go run and all excited. You can hear them when they're whining. That's them wanting to play and they want to run. This is dog camp. And here we go, doggies. And now we're coming back into the camp. Oh, great job. Good boy, good girls. Great job, doggies. Oh, how fun are they? Oh my goodness. And at the end, you're supposed to congratulate them. You did so good. You, did, you were amazing. And you were amazing. And you were amazing. Oh my goodness. They're eating the snow like as water, which makes sense. This is the doggy camp up close. Look at these cuties. Oh, one of them is named Beggar and Billion. There's Hershey sleeping. Oh, hi. Oh, look at Seattle right there, basking in the sun. Oh my God, I love you doggies. 
I love you. The other major thing to do in Skagway is the White Pass Yukon route where you go on a six hour train ride through the Yukon. Now, a lot of people say it's really neat, um, but again, we wanted to see more of the glacier and things of that sort. So again, depending on what you are excited to do, there's different choices, but another one is the train. What Skagway is famous for is the gold rush and mining. And Chris, look how crazy, this definitely does feel like frontier land for sure. Even the buildings, the red onion saloon over there. Like the boardwalk, they have boardwalks and sidewalk instead of actual pavement. So wait, back in the day they had boardwalks yeah, instead of? there was no pavement. The oh. To raise everything up. The foundation of the homes around the boardwalks on the still. Other well, than the still. How far would you go to find fortune? Skagway. It's 1899, that is actually the visitor center. Camp Skagway. Chris, is that made out of sticks? It is. And then see the red lights in the window? Again, LBV TV is a family channel, but you can deduce what that is and what it was. There's even a museum of the history of red lights and you know what. Yes, in Skagway, there is even a museum for the red light and what happens in those areas where a red light, an LBV TV family channel, you know. So uh, yeah. Skagway is definitely giving you the, uh, the full-on experience of what it would have been like back in the 1800s here in Alaska. I love how it really does feel how I imagined old Alaska would be like, whereas, you know, again, like I said, a major city. So Chris said this is what they used to carve tunnels into the mountains. That's cool. That looks like something Shredder from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles hat. Every day I say this, but my Alaskan cruise, every day is the best day ever. But this was definitely, I think, the best day ever. Let me know in the comments if you agree, if the dog sledding looked amazing, or the incredible views going onto a glacier. Being in that helicopter felt like we were in National Geographic or one of Disney Nature's programs. It didn't feel real, honestly. I felt like I was in a movie, and what I was seeing, how could it be real? And to get to put our foot on the glacier and see the ice blue beneath us and meet the animals. Get to experience something I felt like it was out of a movie is absolutely, I would recommend, um, worth it. It's not a cheap excursion like our kayaking experience, but it's definitely worth saving up for if it's something you wanna do that is a one of a kind experience that 100% you will never forget and never be able to do anywhere else. We're all still in awe over here of our experience doing that. Trust me, after you do it, the whole group, your whole family, is just gonna be like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. We still can't stop talking about it. So again, thank you Magic Vacation Planner for recommending that. Again, these are things some of us may have not thought of to do um, and experiences. And again, for those of you who may not want to go on a glacier and do things like that, there's other options. That might be better suited for somebody who wants less of a, a thrill. I found the dog sledding super easy for anybody with any body issues. I'm missing the last two parts of my spine and it was fine. Now I just wish I could take the doggies home with me. If you're having fun with us, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. There is so much more to come. Here on our channel, we never say goodbye, but we're gonna have to say, see you real soon to Skagway. See you real soon, Skagway. We gotta come back one day, Chris. We gotta do that. One day.